Welcome to the Bill Bert. Podcast. <laughs> Wait, you do the pod, I'll do the cast. <laughs> so you say it again. Welcome to the Bill Bert Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that has to be the intro. That's got to be the intro. What's going on? Speaking of Valentine's Day, yeah, there we go. I am not in with you. That's it. I think another thing, too, is you teach your kids how to break up with somebody. Whoa. That, that I is, agree that with. That is a huge thing. hundred fucking percent. You just go, listen, it sucks, but there's nothing fucking worse than staying in it. So you just teach them the, the opening line, the opening line. How many girls have you broken up with? Ah, oh, dude, I don't want to get into this. It's fucking brutal. Um, how many did I break up with? Mm-hmm. More than have broken up with you? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I'm the opposite. Uh, I've cheated on more girls than I broke up with. Uh, <laughs> I was really into cheating. One. I kind of miss it. One. Cheating was like the greatest thing ever. One, two, three. I don't know, like a half dozen. Like I, to, I wasn't like a big, like, I didn't go down the road with a lot of people if I weren't into them. I didn't, I didn't do that. But oh, I, I went down I, the road But I did, I did, yeah. I broke like three hearts that I still think about. But once they get married, then you kind of feel like, all right, I'm off the hook. But like, I still, I still think sometimes, like, I'll just be thinking back in my life going, I should just, why, I just wish I never met them. I just wish they never met me is what I, I, I think. I broke up with probably one girl. Cheated on. Wait a minute, you broke up with one? Yeah, but I cheated on everyone else. Well, and what? Then they found out and they broke yeah, up. Yeah, that's again? how I did it. I was like, I got him caught. I guess. It was oh, so one. you? Oh, so you took the coward yeah, yeah, way yeah, out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I, yeah, that's why I agree with you. Hey, honey. <laughs> what? Oh man, you want to talk about a fucking rush of energy? Getting walked in on cheating on someone? Getting there's like they should you bottle did that. that? Oh, I've been walked in on. Yeah, I got walked in on. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so fucking uncomfortable. I mean, it makes me, it gives me douche chills now. Just the look on her face, introducing herself to the girl I'm with. Hi, I'm dot, dot, dot. I'm Bert's girlfriend. And the girl I was with was like, oh, I've heard about you. <laughs> oh, God, I fucking, hmm, that hurt. I just fucking, that feeling of just going like, I think then doesn't I, she kill you? No, I, we had to have a conversation. Oh, 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 that was rough. That was rough. I've been cheated on too. Oh yeah, I think anybody who stayed out there as long as we, I don't know. Yeah, I've been on both sides. Yeah, I've been on both I never sides. Never walked in on. I got walked in on. It was so fucking. I will never forget that feeling. There's no equivalent feeling. My first girlfriend cheated on me. Really? Oh yeah. Big time. Really? Big. Big time. Like how big? Just big time. Fucked your brother? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Uh, big enough that I wouldn't tell it on I wouldn't tell it on camera. For real? Big time. Big time. Wait, big, big time. time. And then I was just I heard he had issues with women. I did not <laughs> need to meet her. And I did. And then that just was like, what the it was just literally black is white, up is down. Oh. There's everything is bullshit. And uh, and then my anger, all my childhood issues, then caught up with me. That's why I'm such started so fucking late. You know what I mean? And I, I just took me so long to get my act together. It was just like, uh, how'd you find out? Oh my god! Years later. Oh, you didn't find out when no. it happened. She broke up with you, and then you found out later that she cheated on you. Yeah. No. Uh, I can't tell the story. Really? Yeah, it's a great one though. Oh, it's a fucking tell, tell hints of it. I, I, I. Why I, can't you tell it? Uh, Can you tell it without using just names? Just out of respect for the people that were involved. Like, yeah, there was. It was. I learned that recently because I would was, tell stories. Yeah, I, about I, the girl. I had a girl sleep with my best friend, and I, I, I got to this place where I was like, I would, I would say their names. And like, and I was like, cause I was like, I don't give it. And then I thought one day I was in the shower and I was like, it's a real shitty thing to do is to like, they're, they've gotten gone on with their lives. But then if someone might work with them, hears me saying their name somewhere, that's not a yeah, cool thing do that. to do. And also, cause I, I, I was like, you know, as much as my, 
the first one destroyed me. Like, I hurt a ton of people, and I was a fucking asshole. And, like, I, you just, like... It's amazing that you... Well, you don't understand what you're doing. You just don't get what, what you're doing and how that's affecting fucking people. And I was so walled off. Like, I should have been, like, literally tied to the side of a house. Like, I shouldn't have fucking <laughs> been allowed to interact with people for, like, a good 15 years of my life. Um, like, I, that's what I consider, like, your 20s and 30s. You're just going out, taking your childhood out on people. And you don't even know you're yeah. doing it. And then you're just walking around thinking that... You know, you're the victim and shit like that. So that's a... Uh, that's the interesting thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of shit that if I went, if I went back, if I, if the, of all the shit that I would redo, yep. I would redo all of my dating shit oh. over again. I yeah. would, I, and there was just so many people, I would never meet you, I would never talk to you, I would never do you, I would just completely stay away from you if I could just somehow do that all over. And sometimes, like, you know, sometimes, I don't know why, you just sit there thinking about your past and the amount of times I just go like, ugh, yeah. yeah. I, I took, when I'm, uh, the last girlfriend I had, I think she cheated on me. There's, I think technically, uh, there's one also that I, but <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got, I got a couple of those where I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they cheated I'm on me. I'm pretty sure. And then I decided, I remember I was living at that place across the street from the cellar and I was, and I, I was sitting in the room and I was obsessing about it. Like I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about it. This is before cell phones, right? So and so you just sit by the phone and hope they call. You can go out and do something and check your answering machine when you got home. And I thought, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. I'm going I'm to make something, and I'm going to take a break from women from a, for a while. I'm not going to date anyone. I won't let myself date anyone. Right. I won't put myself out there at all. I'm just going to focus on stand-up, and I'm going to build a loft today. So I, my, I called my dad, and I was like, I was like, can you buy me some wood so I can build a loft in here? And my dad's like, sure. So we called a lumber place. They delivered the lumber. That night I stayed up all night smoking weed, drinking, building a loft. I built a loft. And when I got done that day, I went. <laughs> I, I love went, at nighttime. You're on the treadmill, got a glass of wine. <laughs> I looked up. weed, building a loft. And I was like, all right, I did that today. I go, now let's do that with my career so that I'm in a place where people want to have sex with me as opposed to I want to have sex with them. Six months later, I swear <laughs> to God, six months later, I'm in, New in L.A. I had a deal with Will Smith. I had forgotten about this girl. I'm at a gas station at, uh, on Beverly and La Cienega. And she calls me and says, hey, I'm in uh, L.A. We should hang out. I hadn't talked to her since I built that loft. And I, I was the greatest feeling. And I went, no, nah, I'm taking a break from everything. And she was like, wait, what do you mean? I said, I don't want to be like, I'm cool. I'll talk, I, I, no hard feelings, but like, I just, I don't want anything complicated in my life. I'm in a really good spot. I'm working. And she goes, no, I heard you're doing a TV show. And I said, yeah, and I'm, so enjoy LA, but I'm just going to be by myself. And she was like, oh, you can't just hang out. And I was like, nope. And I hung out, hung up, went back to the Universal Sheridan, like, just was like, I'm good. I took that break, fucked me up, because when I met Leanne, I was still that guy, that guy like, mm, I'm good, I'm good. Because I had had so much success in such a short period of time where I was like, this is the plan. Is yeah. If you're a bachelor, you will succeed. If you have nothing else, someone says, hey, we need you in the Miami Improv. I'm good, I'm up, let's go. Like right. that mentality, and I believe that mentality fucks guys up if they stay there too long. Like if, yeah. you, if, if you get to a place, I always say this to Ari, cause, and I can say this about Ari because we're friends, but like Ari's been a bachelor for so long that he has a hard time wrapping his head around giving in to people. So like when you're a bachelor, you're just always right. You're like, well, it's me tonight in my bed. I've got this. Right. And so one of the one of the big things when you get married, you learn how to compensate and go and self-correct and go, oh, maybe it's not all about me. Maybe you, you give in a lot quicker. <laughs> you bend at the knee a lot quicker than a bachelor. If you want to stay, yeah, if you want to keep it going. It's it's a really interesting dynamic about men they wrote all these books about men of how to get laid how to get this you should we should there should be a book about how not to like i remember i remember gary Valentine. how not to hurt people yeah how, about, how, how to break up with people there should be something for everybody they don't teach you how to do it like that's why i always start on my podcast i always try to say this is what you say listen we we need to sit down and talk you sit down and talk to say listen i'm not happy this relationship isn't working i don't want to be it and you just get it out Oof. you just say it However you're going to say that, and then it's going to suck for another two to six hours. But don't get talked back into it. Just hold your you're fucking out. ground. You're out. Yeah. Stay out. The second you say it, you're out. You're that, out. This is, by the way, this should be a manual for every 18-year-old guy and girl watching. 
Yes. Is say so, the words, take that Band-Aid off, and once you do it, do not go back. Don't go back, and you are out. And then, and then if you then don't get back into this is what everything that I wish somebody told me, how to get out, and then how not to go, you know, get dragged back into an old relationship, and then how not to immediately go into another one. And just, that's my biggest mistake. And just fucking live your life and do what the fuck it is you want to do and stay out of those things until you meet somebody that you're actually you know like you're not doing it for the wrong reasons like oh my god i can't believe this person likes me like they like i like you because you actually like me like i don't like myself I mean, dumb reason right i'm gonna fucking uh, i'm lonely this it's- is convenient you know, well, nobody else has given me a shot. All these, th- you don't even think about it, but that's like literally fucking reasons. You'll waste six months, a year, and then you're like, what you knew from the very beginning, you then say a year later, and then you end up hurting somebody. It's fucking terrible. I, if, I, if I could just go back and not do any, all of that shit. I broke up with a girl one, the o- only girl I can say I broke up with. I broke up with her, and the one lesson I will say is, if you take them out to eat, break up with them towards the end of the dinner. I broke up with her before we had ordered drinks, and it was the longest dinner of my fucking life. Hey, I, God bless her for still sitting there. I sat there. We sat down, and I said, she said so why, this is crazy. What, what's going on? And I went, I'm not happy. I don't want to date anymore. This is over. And she went, wait, hold on. And they came up, and they go, can I get you something to drink? And as soon as I heard that, I went, I should have gotten a drink first. I should have gotten a little more. I should have. Waited till mid meal to break, or towards the end. I don't understand taking somebody out to drink to break up with them. I took her out uh, to dinner, dinner to dinner to break to up with somebody. Dinner, I could have done it over the phone. I could have done it. You got to do. Do you do it over the phone or face no? To face? face to face. You sit down. You sit down. So give me the perfect scenario. Say say that say that uh, say me. Dude, and Al Madrigal had the best one. Al Madrigal when he he would be in something long enough. Oh. where the woman would have stuff over at his house, he would. Pack up all her shit. We need to talk. He'd go over to her house. With the shit? With the shit. Oh, my God. Hand it to her. Dead man walking. And just Walking say, up the thing with a, a box. Little, but what was great was. <laughs> He's got a white hazmat suit on. But what was great was. Wiping pl- prints off her yeah. doorknob. It Wait, was what over. Was, what was great? What was you said? Because then what happens is. Like, you know, just how women want to discuss all the feelings of it is you just have that one talk and it's done. If you, have, if you break up with them and then they have stuff at your house, then they have to, or your apartment, they have to then go and get the shit. Yeah. I mean, this is for men and women. I'm, not, I'm just saying it from a guy's point of view. Just get the shit, get it over there, and then it is fucking done. Didn't you used to have a bit about this? No. Did, I would Dane l- Cook had one about about the van. The van. What was the bit? The, you didn't know how to get out of it, and it was, it was a breakup service. Yeah. And a van would pull up, and you'd just go in it, and they drive away, and then a guy'd come up with an earpiece, and just be like, "Yeah, listen, it's over." Wait, 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 it's over. He's man. He's in the van. <laughs> he's in the, he's van. in the van. It's over. I'm gonna need to get a CDs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just the whole fucking thing. Yeah, they came in, they just packed up the shit. He, you just step into a van. It was fun, kind of like you know the Breaking Bad episode. You know, uh, I never saw Breaking Bad. Uh, well, Dane's, I'm saying Dane's big foreshadowed the Breaking Bad episode where the, like when you were to get your new identity, this, I know it was a van, a guy would just pull up in a car and you just got in and then you were just gone and you had your new identity and you just took you somewhere and it was over. Yeah, I, man, that, I, that is a Do you think anybody's up. ever done that? If there's actually really a service like that, someone who was just unhappily married. But nowadays, I don't think that you, you just can't, you can't abandon a family. I don't know I'm saying this like it's a you just bad walk thing. away. You used to be able to just fucking leave. Like I'm going to get just, cigarettes and I'm just going walk out. away. Now, I used to do a bit about that. Was that what I'm thinking of? The, the, the fucking feeling of elation when you're walking out that door. If you're that unhappy that you can leave kids behind. <laughs> All your how, clothes. Everything. everything. <laughs> how miserable are you that you're just fucking walking out and when you just walk, and as she's going like, don't forget to get blah, 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 blah. You're just thinking, that is the last fucking time <laughs> I ever have to hear. And you're trying to, like, like hold down your joy. <laughs> you got it, honey. You got to be like, all right, all right, I'll get it. And then you just leave, and it's just like, what is that feeling when you get to that train station? And you're just on that train. You're just looking at your watch. Oh, they're probably starting to wonder. <laughs> 
and you just go and you go to that new town and you go into that bar and that first person comes up to you hi what's your name and you're just like uh mike <laughs> mike, mike phillips nice to meet you mike you married would you no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> And in the back pocket, the fucking ring goes away. <laughs> hey, you got to see Mike Phillips, man. He's fucking, he's fucking great guy. And then you just sit there and then you just start inventing, inventing this thing. And then it was funny. And then you meet, you, you, you marry, you find love. And then your wife wants to vacation in the city that you abandoned a family. This is like a movie. And then you have to go back and the whole fucking time. Honey, why do you keep putting your collar up? I'm a little cold. It's like 80 degrees out. What are you doing? Just... That's fucking wild. I can't imagine. Abandoning a family is fucking wild. Like if there was yeah. a drug, like you're saying, that drug, you know, when she walked in on you, if you had that, that fucking feeling... I mean, that's like the end of like, what was that, that Argo movie or whatever, that Ben Affleck movie, what the fuck? Where they get, yeah, well, yeah. Where uh, you're in the plane, you're like, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, that's that same <laughs> feeling. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached 15,000 feet. We are clear out of missile strike range. You're like, <gasps> <gasps> yeah. 